Now to an update from the Connecticut Department of Consumer Protection. People with autism spectrum disorder can now access marijuana through the state's medical marijuana program. It's one of two disorders newly added to the list of qualifying conditions. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitts brings us more. Autism spectrum disorder is now among the 42 medical conditions eligible for medical marijuana through the state's program, but only for those over 18. More people now have access to medical marijuana in Connecticut now that the state's medical marijuana program's nine member board of physicians has added two conditions to the list of qualifiers, autism spectrum disorder and female orgasmic disorder. So I think this is an awesome way just to increase access and improve the quality of life for people who really don't have a lot of options out there. Nurse practitioner Cheyenne Jarnese was diagnosed with autism at the age of 20. She told her story to the Board of Physicians Friday, who approved the additions unanimously. My whole life I've been on and off different medications because of insurance. The side effects have been awful. I've been on Adderall because of having like the ADHD symptoms. And I was gratefully able to come off all my medications and just be on a CBD and THC tincture. The disorders join the list of 42 debilitating medical conditions for adults, including cancer, glaucoma, Parkinson's, PTSD, and epilepsy. They are the first additions to the list in three years. Dr. Suzanne Mulville is the executive director of the Female Orgasm Research Institute. Up to 41% of women are affected by this condition. So, and that statistic hasn't changed for 50 years. So I realize, I think that the board realized that with the fact that there is a paucity of treatments, there's no conventional medication. It is a stigmatized and shamed condition, which is part of the reason that I think women have a hard time overcoming it. She says this will be life changing for patients. And it not only affects their lives. I mean, it affects their mental health, their physical health, their spiritual health. It, it, it is known to have a cross-directional relationship with um, causing. It can actually cause mental health issues like anxiety and depression. Now, again, those additions are only for those who are 18 and older and who are being treated for their condition by a physician, a physician assistant, or an RN. In Hartford, Amanda Pitts, NBC, Connecticut News.